Welcome to SECLiveNews.com. This is Pete Cordelli. And in a conference that never rests, that's right, the Southeastern Conference, you can never take a day off for any of the 12 schools. That's what makes this conference the best in the country by far. Four teams from the Southeastern Conference will participate in the NIT Basketball Tournament. Kentucky and South Carolina will play on Tuesday night. Florida and Auburn will play on Wednesday night. Then on Thursday, it will be Mississippi State and LSU in first round action in the NCAA tournament. And then on Friday, the Tennessee Volunteers get underway. So seven basketball teams from the SEC in postseason play. But the big news of the day, it happened in Knoxville, Tennessee, when Bryce Brown, the number one rated running back by Rivals.com, the number two rated prospect by Scout, and the number eight rated player, by ESPN, signed his scholarship with the Tennessee Volunteers. And what a boost that is to Lane Kiffin and his new staff at the University of Tennessee. Bryce Brown had originally committed to play for the Miami Hurricanes. His older brother, Arthur, is a sophomore linebacker in Miami. But Brown said he wasn't ready to sign on national signing date, which was February 4th. Miami coach Randy Shannon told Brown he had two weeks to make up his mind to sign with the Hurricanes. At the end of two weeks, he would not have a scholarship any longer with Miami. Well, as you can tell, it's five and a half weeks later, and Brown has finally signed his letter with the Tennessee Volunteers. This is absolutely huge for Lane Kiffin and his staff, seeing that this is the third high-profile player that the Vols have signed after signing date. What a credit it is to Jim Chaney and Eddie Graham, the offensive coordinator, running back coach, to Coach Kiffin, and Ed Ogeron, the recruiting coordinator. Jim Chaney and Eddie Graham led the charge here. And Eddie Graham was the running back coach at Auburn for the last seven years, excuse me, last 11 years under Tommy Tuberville. He has coached Cadillac Williams, Ronnie Brown, some outstanding running backs from the Auburn program. So Eddie Graham brings and expertise for the running back position that really impressed Bryce Brown. Obviously, some coaches with NFL backgrounds all played into Bryce Brown making his decision for the Tennessee Volunteers. It was interesting that Brown said, during my visit, my official visit back in February, it, I was a little uncertain as to where Tennessee fit into my plans because at that time, some of the coaches had just arrived, and they were trying to put everything together. But he showed up last weekend in Knoxville on an unofficial visit. Friday night, the Vols had a practice that was open to the public. And while Bryce Brown was on the sidelines, over 2,000 fans were chanting, Bryce Brown, Bryce Brown. He was standing on the sideline in an orange jacket. So that maybe let the crowd know he was definitely going to be a volunteer. But huge news for the Tennessee Volunteers and the Southeastern Conference. And when you think about Nukees Richardson from Pahokee, Florida, who had been a Florida commit last May, and Urban Meyer had said Nukees Richardson was going to be the next Percy Arvin for the Gators. Eddie Graham, again, recruited South Florida for a number of years when he was at Auburn. He was the point guy on getting Nukees Richardson to change his mind and come to be a Tennessee volunteer. This is one heck of a recruiting staff that they have in Knoxville, and they're paying huge dividends right now for Lane Kiffin and the Tennessee volunteer football staff. In other football news, Coach Mark Rick at Georgia released Dexter Moody, a 6'2", 205-pound linebacker, from his scholarship on Monday, and it was confirmed by Georgia officials that Moody is now a recruitable athlete. Watch out for the Tennessee Vols. You never know where they're going to show up. Emanuel County Institute also has Washon Ely, who signed with the Georgia Bulldogs. But Dexter Moody, a very good linebacker and impact player, is a guy that may pique the interest of the Tennessee football staff. At 6'2", 205 pounds, great speed, great range, and a big-time hitter. So look for Dexter Moody to sign a scholarship with another school in the SEC. In other basketball news in the SEC today, the all-conference team was announced. Seven players 
being announced on the first team, led by player of the year Marcus Thornton from LSU, Devin Downey from South Carolina, Jody Meeks from Kentucky, Tyler Smith from Tennessee, Jarvis Bernardo, the leading shot blocker in the country from Mississippi State, Nick Calafis from Florida, and Tasman Mitchell from LSU. That is your first team, all SEC basketball team for 2008-2009. The coach of the year, Trent Johnson from the LSU Tigers, and the newcomer of the year, freshman Tariqa White from the University of Mississippi. It's interesting that all seven of those players will be in postseason play between the NCAA tournament and the NIT tournament as well. Good luck to all seven of those players. Monday night, the teams for the 2009 NCAA Women's Tournament were announced, and the SEC has seven teams participating, starting with number two seed Auburn taking on Lehigh at Piscataway, New Jersey. LSU comes in as the number six seed taking on Wisconsin Green Bay, and they have home court advantage as the Lady Tigers will be playing in Baton Rouge. Vanderbilt goes in as a four seed taking on Western Carolina. That game will take place in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Mississippi State comes in as an 11 seed taking on the Texas Longhorns in Columbus, Ohio. The Tennessee Lady Vols come in as a 5 seed taking on Ball State. The Georgia Bulldogs come in as an 11 seed and they take on Arizona State in Duluth, Minnesota. And the number 8 Florida Gators take on number 9 Temple and that game will be played in Storrs, Connecticut. Good luck to all seven of the women's team in the 2009 NCAA Women's Tournament.